Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm talking about fuzzy matching. Stay tuned. Okay, fuzzy matching. Fuzzy matching was released, was added in the latest update of the Power BI desktop. And it's pretty neat. And so I could have used it in a lot of projects that I worked on. And when I saw it um, as part of the update, I was like, oh man, I'm gonna do a video on this, okay? And so instead of all this talking, you guys know how I like to do. What? Let's head over to my laptop. Okay, so fuzzy matching is a preview option. A preview, you know, it's a preview feature. So what you gotta do is you need to turn it on. So you go to file, options and settings, options, because it's in preview right now. And then when the, the options window pops open, you go to preview features, it's a preview feature, and then you check the box for enable fuzzy merge. And so you will have to restart your desktop um, if, it's, if, if, if this is your first time enabling it, okay? But I've enabled it before, okay? And so I'm, I'm gonna talk about a real world, world scenario that I faced, okay? And so take a look at this data. All right, we're not gonna look at it in Excel. We're gonna look at it over here in the query editor. So what I had was I have a t one table that contained the person's name and their ID, but then I had another table that just contained variations of the person's name, and I need to do some type of matching on it so I can bring the ID into the table that contained these variations. You can see it right here of the name. But before this fuzzy matching feature came out, it was really difficult to do this because if I just tried to match on the names itself, if it wasn't a hundred percent match, it didn't come back. But with the fuzzy match and I can, you know, there's a threshold by default, there's a threshold value that it sets to 0.80. So if it's about 80% match, go ahead and match it up. You can actually increase that um, to minimize, to make it a little stricter on how you want to do this matching. Okay. So let me show you how you do this. So I have these two tables and I'm going to do a merge queries and I'm going to say merge is new. And then I'm gonna merge my friend table on name. And then I'm gonna merge the people table on the same name, okay? And so right now it says, hey, I don't, I don't find anything, but I'm gonna say, just go ahead and use fuzzy matching. Not gonna do anything else, just gonna check that box and click okay. So I click okay. And it produces my new table and I can expand it out just like any other merge. I'm gonna bring those two tables and I'm gonna keep the, um, this checkbox check so you can see where the columns are coming from. Go ahead and click OK. And you can see, right, out of the box, everything matches. This is nice. This is nice. It's an 80% match of the values in one name column to the values in the other name column. What if I want to restrict it? What if I want to get a, a closer match, okay? What you could do is, uh, on that merge step, the very first step where there's a merge, go over to the applied steps, click the gear. It'll open up the merge um, window. Click on fuzzy merge options. And you get some options down here that you can set. So the first one I'm gonna do, I wanna restrict this. I wanna get a little more, I want those names to be a closer match than 80%. So I'm gonna increase this to like 98 because I don't want any junk, right? You know, garbage in, garbage out. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll click okay. And then click back on expanded people. And you can see right now, no, because it didn't find a match between those two because that's not what I want, right? It just completely dropped that one out. I didn't find a match on those and that's okay, right? So the next thing you can do, let's say I don't want to deal with case. I want my case to match exactly. I want the capital P and the capital P and both Patrick's, okay? So what I can do is I go back to my, merge, my, um, the, my source option, my source step, click on the gear, expand this out and uncheck ignore case because I don't want to ignore case. I want to take case into account when I do this fuzzy match, okay? So I go here, go ahead and click okay. And now if I go back to expanded people, now you can see two rows are no. What, what, are you kidding me? So now, what if I don't care about case, but I wanna get rid of the space? So what I'm gonna do, click on my gear, do this one more time. You guys are getting, getting what I'm doing here, right? Now ignore case, but ignore spaces. And this time, Right, so now it's only matching this particular one. So you see what I'm doing? You see how this is working? This is great, you have, it's a lot of flexibility built into this and I like it a lot. Okay, so this is the easy one. This is a piece of cake, but let's, I know you guys saw the option, so if we open this up again, if you saw the option down here on the transformation table, 
Let's look at a different data set to work on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this and close this out. I don't care about that for now. And in this particular one, I have two tables. And in one table, I have some sales that a, person's made, a person has made, right? And I have their names, Jamie, Bill, Will, Pat, and Pat. Then I have another table that has the ID and names. And I want to match those two up, okay? So let's do a merge. So we say merge is new queries. Right. I mean, ch choose table two, say James, then we're going to choose table one and choose name. So name and name in both tables. Click on fuzzy match and it's saying, hey, I can't find any match. Click OK. We go to expand this out. And I got nothing. I got nothing. What? Wait a minute. OK. Right. Wait, 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 wait. So what you can do is because what we want to do is say whenever you see William or Will or Bill, that corresponds to Will. Whenever you see Pat, that corresponds to Patrick. Whenever you see um, Jim, that corresponds to James. So you make this match table. And the way the match table needs to look is, it needs to have a from and a to column. And in the from column, you put, what do you want to match? So I want to match Will to William, and I want to match Bill to William. I want to watch Pat to Patrick and Jim to James. All right, so let's go modify our, our merge a little bit. So we'll go here and click the source and we'll expand fuzzy options. And you see at the very last option down here, there's a transformation table option. Choose our transformation table and we'll move this up just a little bit and click OK. So now when I click OK and I go to expand it, oh, look at there. Everything's matching up now. Right. We have one that doesn't match James. Right. So if I go look at my transformation table, it says match Jim to James. Hmm. Let me go here. I have Jamie. Oh, that's the problem. Jamie. Right. And so if I look at my table, I'm matching James. So I have James. I'm matching James to Jim, but I need to fix my data. OK. And I know I'm only doing this for demo purposes. Right. So let me show you how this it would just seamlessly update. So if I go back to my source, which just happens to be a nice, easy Excel spreadsheet, and I change Jamie to Jim, click Save. Jamie to Jim, click Save. And then I go back to my query editor here, and I'm going to refresh the preview for this particular table. So now it's Jim. And if I go back to my merge, bam, they match. What? This is sick. This is great. I love it. Thanks, Amanda. Thanks, Power BI product team. Keep doing what you're doing. This stuff is great. Okay, how did you do this before? Does, is this gonna help you out? Let me know. Post it in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, you know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Laugh it up, fuzzball. Yeah.